Look at him. He looks ridiculous. I'm kind of here for it, though. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Kay and we are back on St. Rosie for another day of St. Rosie drama. We're gonna see what's going on on the island today. Um, there have been a few, well, there's been a change that you guys don't know about and we're uh, Isabel is gonna spill the tea for us. So let us let us see what is in what is in store for today. Hi now, it's St. Rosie. It's 1.21 p.m. on a Tuesday, December 8th, 2020. Now for today's announcements. We're gonna let Isabel spill the tea. We got we got a new friend. Okay guys, I know you're like, what the heck? Who left? What is going on? Why why do you have like a new villager on your island? Okay, so uh, we had a camper situation, a campsite situation, and Sky was there, and I was very surprised. I have struggled to leave Sky on uh, villager hunts a couple of times. Uh, I'll see if I can dig that up, but I don't really remember if I'm going to dig it up or not. But I've always really liked her and wanted her, even more than Molly. And let me say that some of y'all were upset that I let Molly move out. And it's because... She wasn't really jiving on St. Rosie, and she wasn't like a dreamy of mine. She was just somebody I thought was cute, and I could kick Zucker out with her, and it was fun. Um, but I'm very excited to have Skye. So we have a normal villager, but unfortunately, uh, in my campsite stuff with Skye, Bubbles left, which made me very sad. Bubbles was one of my original villagers. Oh, we got a painting from Red. Um, so she she had a DIY house. She was one of the original villagers that like Tom Nook moved in, and um, I didn't really love her when she first moved into my town. Let's check our little garden here. All right, we got a bunch of hybrids, but no blues still. That's fine. So she was one of the villagers that Tom Nook moved in, and so she's been there for like ever since March, and I grew to like her. I grew to like her a lot actually. But um, I thought it was time for her to move on. She had a DIY house. It wasn't her original house. And I just figured it was time for her to go. So I was okay with her selecting Bubbles to move out. But now we have Sky, and I'm very happy to have not one, but two wolves, two wolves on my island. And one of them is the adorable Sky. Let's say hi to Raymond first though. He's walking around with a sandwich and a coat. How you doing, bud? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, let's. Oh, actually, I wanted to give him something. Maybe we can get his picture today. Who knows? Who knows? Come on, Raymond. He's in his own yard for a change, which never happens. Yeah, for real. I mean, here you go. Yep. A puffy vest. Well, I guess that's okay. All right. Well, we're not going to get his picture today, but let's go see what Sky's up to. Look at her house. It's very cute. I like it. I like her house. So if you guys have never seen Sky before, she's a super cute wolf. Look at her. And she's got a cloud on her head. And she's got some pink on her. I think she's adorable. Hello. Hello, cuteness. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know where her house looks like, but I'm already impressed with the like the nice shiny heart blue wallpaper. I'm thinking that's already very St. Rosy. So uh, everybody welcome Sky with open arms. You know, don't bully her or anything like that. She's just a sweet little fox with a cloud on her face, and we love her. Well, we'll see you tomorrow when your house is all set up. All right, so that's that. I guess I have to decorate her yard a little bit. I don't want to do that till I see what's in her house, so we'll save that for later. Let's see what Eric is up to, my, my boy Eric. Eric tried to move too, but I said, no. 
because I like Eric. He has to stay there for at least, you know, through the winter, I think. <gasps> he's crafting. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? I love that he's got driving in his house. Like, that's the best song in the game, I think. <laughs> well, one of the best songs while my hair looks. We won't talk about my hair today. What are you doing? A golden dung beetle? I think I already have that, Eric. Why are you doing that to me? What? You already know how to make a golden dung beetle? I sure do. Sure do. Oh boy. All right, well, Eric, I'm, I'll take the DIY. Okay, you got your cookie grease. He snugged on the middle part, smudged on the middle part. You're, you're, you're the best, Eric. All right, wait, do you want this present though? Do you want this present though? All right, he always oh, got my last present. Uh-oh. Yeah, open it. Ooh, Iguanodon tail, yeah. A brown shanty wall. Eric, that doesn't sound like something I'd really like, but you tried. Thank you. Speaking of new villagers, let's go and find Marshall. See if he's around. Cause I know he moved into Molly's old house. Well, Molly's old lot. <gasps> he put this on his door. I gave this to him yesterday, this iron door plate, and I think it looks really classy, just like Marshall. So let's collect our, uh, our nook miles, shall we? All right, is he home? He's not home. But I think that that looks excellent, doesn't it? I think it looks good. Good choice, K. All right, let's see what the rest of my neighbors are up to. So um, next on the chopping block, honestly, is Deirdre. So if you don't know what Deirdre looks like, I don't think she's home. This is her, she's super cute. Um, and we have her picture. So it's okay for him to leave, for her to leave. Also, Camel Frog can roll out because I can always invite him back. And Dom can probably kick it. Uh, so these are the three that are on my radar next to 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 say yes on the asking to leave. <laughs> Not that I don't like them, but like I just want some more time with some of my newer villagers, you know. So that's that's the tea, the Saint Rosie tea. So let's check to see what's in the store today because I'm hoping. Oh, is this Sherb? Hello, Sherb. Wait, hello. I don't know what it is. I mean, Sherb is the baby. The baby. At one point, I was ready to let Sherb leave. You know, if he asked enough times, but now I'm like, I don't know. Sherb is the baby. I know he's just pixels, but like, I'm kind of emotionally attached to him because he's just so darn, like, he's so cute. Look at him. It's Sherb. I love him. All right, let's check the shop to see if we've got any more um, interesting kid stuff. By the way, this helicopter is so fun. Look at that. And then it flies. Isn't that fun? That is so fun. All right, let's go in here. First time in the shop for today. I hope there's something good in there, like um, kid's tent. I'm waiting for the kid's tent. Come on. Yes, kid's tent. All right, gimme, give gimme give this tent. Give me the tent. Yes, 4,500 bells. That's expensive. That's expensive. Um, ooh, safe. I'll take a safe. All right, it's kind of expensive, but. <gasps> Dom, what's up? What's up? I like that he calls me Tater Tot. It's really cute. Everybody likes the kid's tent. The kid's tent is pretty darn cute. Uh, we're just gonna put it. We're gonna put, can, where can we put it, right here? I mean, it's very, it's very cute. Oh, mounted black bass, I should've sold that one too. Cause I don't need that, save. Kid's tent, kid's tent. Look at that. Well, maybe we should turn the other way. Does it do anything? It's just cute. All right, fine, whatever, it's adorable. Freaking adorable. All right, let's check the Able Sisters, see if they have anything cute. They've had some cute stuff lately. I've been very excited. Like you see what everything I'm wearing brand new. Adorbs. Adorb. <gasps> I need that sweater. I need, I need this sweater. I need this, I need this sweater. Excuse me, excuse me, Able and Sable, give me that sweater. Hmm, kind of like the black. <gasps> 
Wait a minute, what are these skirts? Knit skirt? Cute! Wait, what else is for sale? All right, we gotta pick out an outfit that goes with our new rainbow shirt, I think. I feel like the rainbow sweater, because that is just bomb. There's camo frog. We gotta change for camo frog. We look good. We look good. Yes. Hello, camo frog. Do we look good? I am a sight for sore eyes. That's right. What's the latest? <laughs> He's so cute. All right. Let's take a look around. Look at look at Freya. Look at her outfit. You're turned out, sister. Oh, she calls me Tulip. Which I think is very nice. Let's talk. Oh, I never imagined I'd come to this island and make such a dear friend. Life is full of wonderful surprises. She's so sweet. I love Freya. Alright, let's go get this fossil game game up so I can uh, get my present game up. Actually, is there a bottle? I'm still trying to get this butter churn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's Frida! Next to the beach always sounds like there's a balloon, but it's really like just breezes. But it's very tricky. It tricks me, and I don't like it. I don't like the way it makes me feel. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm still trying to get them DIYs, right? You know? <gasps> it's my friend Marshall. It's my friend Marshall. Hello. Hello, Marshall. <gasps> He's sweeping in front of his house. Look at how, what a good little, like, manicurist he is of his yard. I love him. Hello. You're so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> oh, camera phone's just chilling on the tree. Okay. <gasps> Wait, Leaf is here. I didn't know that. Well, let's let's clear my pockets first. This is like all wacky. What? <laughs> no, I don't want your flight crew uniform. <laughs> oh well, she had good intentions, you know. All right, we have emptied our pockets. And we just want to visit all of our villagers and oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's perfect. All right, that could be the thumbnail. You never know, you know, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> And I could have sworn I heard a balloon during this time, but I probably missed out. Who knows? Let's see. I'm, try I'm trying to get them DIYs, man. All right, let's give Marshall his first present ever. Aside from his um, door, door, door plate. It doesn't go with what I'm wearing right now, but thank you, Marshall. Thank you very much. I am, I love him. I love him so much. Oh, phrase in the way. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Butterfly shades. All right. I guess I'll take those. Thanks, Frida. I really want your picture though. Oh. <laughs> go get him. What's wrong, Deirdre? Uh oh. How did you get into a fight with Eric? You guys don't even talk to one another. All right. Um, I guess. I hope it's not a horrible shirt. Where was Eric? I I don't remember where I saw him. All right. It has to be today. All right. All right, Deirdre, I got this. I got this for you. I hope it's not like an awful outfit. <laughs> that would really suck. So, um, Eric, please let it be like, well, you know what? Worse, it'd be like a, a bad piece of furniture. 
Because I like Eric's house, you know? Alright, here. I got a delivery here. From your, your girlfriend. It's probably his girlfriend at this point. A bone costume? Oh no! <laughs> Try it on! Try it on right now! Try it on right now! Oh, wow! <laughs> I'm dead! I'm, de I'm dead! I'm dead! A low screen? Well, thanks! Okay, so... Raymond has a Cavalier shirt, and Eric now has a bone costume. Look at him! He looks ridiculous! I'm kind of here for it, though. Wow. <laughs> Good work, Deirdre. Thanks for the low screen. This... This kills me right now. This is, like, so epic. I love it. Can I sit next to him? And I guess I could if I really wanted to. Hey, buddy. Wow, I'm sitting in the, my head is in the tulips. So I don't think I've ever taken you guys through like my actual house. So this is the living room. I know I show you guys it briefly when I'm playing live, um, but this is my living room and I'm really, really happy with the way that it turned out. Um, I think it looks really cute and cozy. This is the way that I decorated it for fall. Anyway, I've got all my awards near the front of the house. I've got a, um, I've got this cafe tea wall, which I got from Sahara. I think it's the best wallpaper in the game. I think it's the prettiest wallpaper in the game. It always looks like it's daytime, which I'm happy with. I got my leather couch. It's very like, kind of like cozy and moody and old fashioned. And well, not old fashioned, but like, it looks actually kind of, making me be like old English or like old New England style and I really like it. Ooh, it's two o'clock. So we've got the, the gong of the, of the clock going, but I really like it. I've got my sort of fireplace, but not the fireplace. It's actually, I've been playing the game since March and I actually do not have the fire, the actual fireplace item with the, the, with the mantle and everything. And I think that's so funny is that I've been playing the game since the day of release and I have never once come across that item, gotten that item, traded for it. And I think that the day that it arrives in my inventory, I'm going to be like, wow, I finally have the fireplace. Um, and I, I would like to talk briefly about like getting items. Um, I don't, I'm not in a hurry to get items or complete my inventory or get all my DIYs or get all the things because it makes the game go faster for me and I want this to last as long as I possibly can. It's the reason why I don't time travel. It's the reason why I don't trade for items a lot. I just want to be able to get items in the game when I get them so that it just extends my enjoyment of the game and that I feel like that's how the game was meant to be intended. And yes, I have traded for a couple of things um, in the past when I really wanted the item, but mostly like I've, I've gotten a few DIYs from people, but mostly I just want to just enjoy the natural pace of the game. I really like this little balancing toy. I think it's very cute. One of the cutest um, DIY items that we got this fall. Hopefully you got it. I'm, I'm still waiting for the arch. I don't know why I don't get the arch anyway. To the left of my living room is this office. It's like an office. Um, it's very cozy. I love the dark intenseness of the wall. I love the cuckoo clock. I love, I love everything about it. It's like a non, it's like a very traditional looking office. And it's kind of the opposite of what I'd have in my house. And maybe that's why I like it. Cause I like more mid century modern look and a little bit of a, of a cleaner look. This is like a lot of stimulation for me <laughs> visually, but I kind of like that it's in my Animal Crossing house. I think that this is, I don't know, this is, this office is cute. And look, it's got all my plants in it. So I've got my humidifier there going, you know? So, and the fish models and the bug models on the wall. I really like that. I think that's really fun. So that's my office. And to the right is my spa bathroom. <laughs> Everybody loves the Ironwood series, so I, of course, also love the Ironwood series. So I've got my bathroom here. I actually don't like that little poster on the wall. I don't know why that's there. I think I just put that there just to look at it, but normally it's not there. So um, I think this bathroom is really fun. I've got like a little panel here that I customized to give you some privacy on the toilet. And I got one of these, you know, specialty toilets, the, the automatic toilets, which I thought was kind of fun. I love that. 
and a bidet so you can wash your behind after you use the bathroom. I wish that they, we had bidets in the United States like more standard. You have to like install them. Um, but I, I wish that was a thing that was totally standard, but I love this bathroom. I would love for this to be like my, my actual bathroom. I think it is so zen and I love this tub. I had a cypress tub in here earlier, which looked really cool, but I love this clawfoot tub because I am, I live in New England and I love a good clawfoot tub. I love a clawfoot tub. So I had to install a clawfoot tub in this bathroom and I've got my, you know, magazine rack with my, with my, um, you know, anime magazines here, manga, whatever. Um, I've got manga in real life. I am that, I am that gal and I got my radio in here. So we're, you know, so while I'm bathing or getting dressed, I got my, um, uh, I got my infuser so I can, so I can smell nice in here. And I just love this bathroom. I think it's so cute. Let's move on to the upstairs. Oh wait, we first, before we go upstairs, we've got my very, uh, I think like it's a famous bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not famous um but this is like my pink bedroom i really like like if i if i would have this bedroom in real life because i think it's so cute it's got all the pink furniture and it's got the the lovely or like i know it's this cute set now uh, but it's got all the stuff that i would love to have and it. it's very shabby chic which i think is really cute we've got the air conditioner and the fan because i need those while i'm sleeping you got a pink humidifier and uh, the little doggies here, and it's just so cute. We got a sewing set and a sewing machine here. I don't sew in real life. I don't know how. I, I it's just sewing is magic. But I think, you know, in in my Animal Crossing life, I am a sewer. Yes, and someone who irons. In real life, I don't actually iron either. So this is my fantasy life, and this is my fantasy life room, and this is where I keep all of my portraits of all of the villagers that are important to me in my life. Look at the dearly departed Zucker and Bubbles and peaches and apple. Guys, one day Apple's coming home. One day Apple's gonna come home. One day. I don't know when that's gonna be because I, I, I do really need Tabby in my life. Um, but one day Apple's gonna come home. She's gonna come home. Mm -hmm. All right, and upstairs is Upstairs is my very elegant, fabulous yellow and red kitchen. I enjoy this very much. I think it is a hot kitchen. And it, I chose one of these bigger rooms to do the kitchen because I like a good kitchen. And in real life, in like one of my first apartments, I had a kitchen that had yellow walls and a yellow carpet. And it was like a really happy kitchen. It was actually a huge, massive kitchen. And this kind of reminds me of that kitchen and I really like it. Again, I use the Ironwood series, of course. I'm all about that life. I love a good Ironwood piece of furniture and I've got all the cute red accessories in here. And one of you was very generous and gave me this red refrigerator. Thank you so much. Uh, but I've got the red toaster and the red microwave. And when Apple left, she left her red cooker stove so that's apples you guys i well, again one day apple's coming home i don't know when it is because again i need tabby in my life for a while but one day one day she's gonna come home one day she's coming home and lastly downstairs is not really all that exciting because it's got some diys in it that i'm gonna give away to people um but it's where i set up my turkey day uh furniture i mean the fur turkey day furniture is really cute and I really enjoy it, but I mean, we're not really there right now. So um, I would like to set up this room as a laundry room. So if you guys wanna see me do that video, leave a thumbs up, let me know down in the comments because I think this laundry room slash basement area would be super cute. And by the way, I think this Turkey Day floor is fantastic. It is so beautiful. Um, it's got a lot of detail in it. I love it. If this were my real floor, I'd be very excited. That is all the tea and drama going on in the in the island this week. So hopefully there'll be some more drama next week. Uh, next week, a, a villager is due to ask to move out. And we're hoping for uh, one of three villagers to ask to move. Uh, we'll say a prayer. If you guys <laughs> like this video, give it a big thumbs up. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a good morning, great evening, great afternoon, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.